This is Lisa sharing life stories with you. Today is Monday and there is cops everywhere. Jesus. Uh, you're not supposed to be holding your phone and that's true. I'm just making a quick video while my brain can comprehend the thoughts. Um, I wanted to let you guys know I'm trying to see how you can see this. Wanted to let you guys know, and let me shut the radio down. I never talk about this ever on my channel, and this is a great... I did when I first started it, but this is a great struggle of mine. I feed 20 to 30 stray cats where I live every day. And I also feed more than that in Detroit. And I can't always afford to give... I give this lady cat food and dog food in Detroit. She's got one huge, huge pit bull. He's blue color. He's like a blue pit bull, they would call him. And then her brother's got two dogs and I think a cat. So anyways, I feed a bunch of stray cats in Detroit. So I went, I live in Warren, Michigan. I went to all the way to Mount Clemens. That's quite far to get one free bag of cat food to give to her today so those poor cats in Detroit will have something. I actually was able to get a real small bag, like two of my hand sizes yesterday. Like the smallest bag you can buy. Um, I gave her that yesterday too. And my whole thing is I struggle every day to feed these cats. I take food from my family's refrigerator. My husband always says, and it's cute, they're like little lions. Cats love meat. They love food. They love hot dogs, chicken, steak, spam, hamburgers, bologna, you name it, they'll eat it. So, I spent a ton of money. I don't make a lot. I'm a security guard. I make shit. And I need to get my CPL where I can make more money. And I need to do that and really start concentrating on that. It's very stupid of me not to have it. Because I could command more money than... I could at least get 4 to $5, if not more, an hour from where I work. It slowly build up. I've been with my company for around six years now. I could... I'm watching how fast everybody's going. I could eventually make possibly $10 more an hour than I'm making now. So it's something I got to work into because there's different jobs, undercover jobs where you would be working for like rich clients and you have to be on, you, you know, be really dress up every day in a suit and do stuff like that. But I want that. I want it bad. So I got to prove how bad I want it and uh, just keep bugging them. I'll wear my boss down. And if he doesn't, then I'll go somewhere else because I'm not going to go through all that and you're not going to give me that. I've been with you for six years. I think I'm a loyal employee. I do a ton of extra crap that I never get paid for. Um, but anyways, it's all about the cats. Uh, if anybody out there that watches my videos or knows of somebody that lives in Michigan could help me out in Warren, Michigan, give me free food, cat food, I don't even care if you bring me tuna in a can, hot dogs, bologna, nothing expired. You know, just, it could be close to being expired, but, you know, nothing that would make them sick. That's all I'm saying, because I know those dates don't mean shit. But, uh, because some people would bring you something, bologna, that's been expired for a year. There's a blessing box in one church in Berkeley. And I've seen people put stuff that's expired two and three years in there. Now, come on. You need your face beat the fuck up for shit like that. That's wrong. You don't do that to people. So, yeah. Anyways, back on the subject. I need cat food. Anyway, any possibility, somebody can give me cat food, bologna, whatever, tuna fish. I would so greatly appreciate it. I try to do so good. I've been doing this for four years now. And I got three cats that live on my porch and think that they live there. One, I named her Mary. She was a baby last year. She goes in the garage 
at night and my husband talks to her. And I seen her go in there yesterday and I accidentally scared her. I didn't mean to. I said, Chuck, Mary's coming back there. And she ran off. She got scared. But maybe she came back. I don't know. But he tells me she comes in the garage every night and he talks to her. That's sweet. She wants company. And then I got Black Kitty that got fixed. I almost had a heart attack last year. I couldn't find him in the cold, cold, cold. And he was under... We One good thing about where I live, people have crawl spaces and it's real warm under there in the winter. He found some that were open. Him and, him and Patchy, she's a girl cat and she's fixed too or something. But he like bosses her around. He smacks her if she don't do what he wants. He wants and shit. It's funny. Like I watched them go underneath the house last year and she wasn't moving fast enough. He smacked her in the face like three times. Move your ass. And she listens to him. But they're, they're a package deal. They, they're Anywhere he is, she is. So they're best buddies. And that's really sweet. And I love them. And they he comes running after my car when I come home. He's always there. I love my kitty. I do. I wish I could bring him in. My dog is a Yorkie and he's bad. His name is Woofy. And my husband got him the greatest name after Eddie Munster's doll. I love him. The Munsters was my one of my favorite shows growing up. And uh, Eddie Munster's doll was named Woofy. So my dog... And he looks like a Woofy. I don't know how to describe it, but the little goofball looks like a Woofy. So, <laughs> anyways, this is Lisa sharing life stories with you. This is a life story right here. This is something I've taken on. And I didn't want to do this, but my heart could not let me not. This is my biggest cry out to people. These an ooh, what a nice car. These animals didn't ask to be here, okay? They're here, and all they know is they're hungry. Please help me to help them. Lisa sharing life stories with you. Inbox me, whatever. Call me. I don't even care. I'm gonna put my number on here. I don't care. 586-222-8880. My name is Lisa. I try to do the most good. I try to help people too when I can if I have any extra food. And I don't have shit. I give stuff to everybody. And that's just a way to be. I believe God will take care of us. I truly believe in that. So I'm asking you guys to reach out. Just help me make a difference so these animals... Don't have it any harder. They have it hard enough out in the wild, you know. They just need to live. That's all. They just want to live. That's all they want. And not have starving bellies. That's all I'm trying to do. So, help me help them. You guys have a beautiful day. Join my channel. It's all love on here. It's always different things. Flower arrangements, whatever it may be. This is a day in the life of Lisa. And you guys have a beautiful day. Take care. Bye.